Greetings. I'm about to attempt a chroming, metalizing method, if you will, that I saw on uh, Punish Props Academy's YouTube video. I have my Ghostbusters chess piece. Not the movie Ghostbusters, although they have a proton pack over there, I still haven't finished. But um, the uh, Filmation Ghostbusters. I did paint this silver originally, or chrome, but I thought I'd give a try with uh, what well, this. This is um, this is a foam. It's got several layers of paints and stuff on it, so it is still pretty damn sturdy. But um, don't know how it's, how well it's going to take the paint. I am using just a tin of fiddly bits, uh, gloss white, so it's cheap white paint, see how it's going to go, but if it goes alright, that's awesome. I'm also using graphite powder, I'm not sure how finely ground this is, it says finely ground, but uh, not too hard. I've got my gloves on, so no fingerprint oils are going to get on this, hopefully, and I'll be buffing it in with some cotton balls and buffing it with cotton pads, just like in the tutorial. So let's see how we go. Don't know how well that's going to pick it up. It works. It it works. It's, as you can see, it's nice and reflective. It's, it's taking the the problem is if I could go close, you can see where it's taken the paint very well. The graphite is working very well here, and then there's not places where it's not taken it very well. Uh, Yeah, it's probably because I'm using some really shitty cheap paint. Um, the good news, I think I can just repaint this. I can just go over it with some, maybe just go and buy some. I, the ones I use on the tutorials have been like lacquer, and which I can't really get over here. I might have to go over it. But the cool thing about this, I mean, this literally just five seconds later, I've just done this. I mean, if I take my 
drive off. If I, I'm not getting any, see? It's already dry, the paint's already dry, so it's just literally rubbing on graphite. And just doing that, it's not rubbing the graphite off, and it's not leaving much of a mark. I, mean, I, keep, I guess if I keep doing it, it's gonna leave more of a mark, but that's also, you know, that's like with anything. So for the most part, it's, it's really good, but um, it's a good technique. I just need to get some better paint by looks of it. Um, it's also showing up some of the blemishes from uh, the previous ceiling and all that, but that's fine. It's you know, it's literally just a scratch build. I'm not that that fast. I might hit it here with a with a spray of chrome. I might bring it out a bit. I don't think I'm gonna rubbing any anymore. Uh, graphite's gonna do much more to that. Um, but as an experiment, um, yeah, I, I quite like the effect. Now the reason I went with white, oh yeah, as you can see, I've used a couple of pop sticks just to, cause it's foam, and just make sure it gives it a bit of nice rigidity, and it's not gonna snap quite so easily, especially when morons want to try and touch your shit. The reason I went with white paint is because usually you would undercoat with a black, which we don't want here. Uh, black with the graphite gives you a really, it's a great finish, but it's really dark. And I wanted something a bit lighter for this. Uh, I'm tempted to go back over with Chrome. I really am tempted to go back over with Chrome. But um, I think the problem is is that where these areas here that are came out really nice, they look like the area that have taken a lot of paint. You know, because of course anything with an edge probably come off. So. I think it's probably one of those things where it's just not, the paint's just not reacting well, or it's just one of those weird things. Um, I also noticed now, post scrubbing, I can see where there's some fingerprint marks from before, even though on the white they didn't look like turn up, so obviously it's one of those things where my, my oil, there's oils for my fingers when I was working on it, it come through and I just didn't clean it off properly. Uh, so that's a thing. Uh, you know, touching it like now, now I'm just going to rub it over with a bit of um, isopropyl alcohol or something like that. Uh, just to get rid of that. Now I'll, I'll paint it up again. Will I use this method again? Yeah, yeah. I really want to try and use it on. Maybe not touch the mechlith that's actually drying, but I want to try it on one of these. Uh, I've just run out of uh, spray putty, so I haven't been able to fully finish these up. Uh, I've just, sand, just done a nice sanding down. But, plan is, these are supposed to be kind of really bright chrome. Uh, so I was going to use the uh, white method for that. Maybe not so much now. I could go back to chrome. The problem is, uh, when I've used chrome paints in the past with these, as soon as people touch it, it leaves fingerprints everywhere. So, I really want to try and avoid this as much as possible, especially if I'm going to try and sell these. So, if I can get these working, then it's the battle that's next. I'm going to need some spray putty. And that's next payday. Thank you very much for watching. Making lots of making noise.